Okay, we, an hour ago, we learned that linked to the HSBC tax avoidance scandal are seven Tory donors, including a former treasurer, treasurer of the Tory party, who between them have given nearly £5 million to the Conservative Party. How can the Prime Minister explain the revolving door between Tory party HQ and the Swiss branch of HSBC? I saw this list just before coming to Prime Minister's questions, and one of the people named is the Labour donor Lord Paul, who funded Gordon Brown's election campaign. I, I am very clear. People should pay their taxes in our country, and no government has been tougher than this one in chasing down tax evasion and tax avoidance. Let's talk about the difference between him and me. None of these people have given a penny on my watch, and he's up to his neck in this. Now, let's take, let's take Stanley Fink, who gave £3 million to the Conservative Party. He actually appointed him as Treasurer of the Tory Party and gave him a peerage for good measure. So now can he explain what steps he's going to take to find out about the tax avoidance activities of Lord Fink? I will tell him, Mr Speaker, about the difference between him and me. When people donate to the Conservative Party, they don't pick the candidates, they don't choose the policies, they don't elect the leader. When the trade unions fund the Labour Party, they pay for the candidates, they pay for the policies, and the only reason he is sitting there is because a bunch of trade union leaders decided he was more left-wing than his brother.